Shalom. And here's a thought for the week. This morning I'm sitting at the Chabad Center here in Camarillo and a policeman walks inside and asks me, can I use your video camera? So what happened? So something happened in the parking lot and we'd like to see if we can get the footage of your video camera. Someone uh, reared in someone and their door doesn't open and I guess they don't know who did it, something like that. So I reflected on this, this, reflecting on this concept of having police and judges in all your gates. It's the name of the Torah portion. Quite literally what that means is that every city needs to have judges that tell you the law and the police that enforce the law to make sure that it happens. On a spiritual level, we're supposed to have judges and police at all our gates. We have seven gates to our body, our two eyes, two ears, our nostrils, and our mouth, seven gates. And we must guard, we have to have police at all our gates to make sure that what we see, what we listen to, what we say, we use all of these of our body for positive things, careful to share, to speak good words about other people, to listen to nice, the appropriate things. We have to guard all of our gates and self-regulate, right? The idea is to be our own police. The ultimate idea is not so much that we should have someone else needing to enforce rules. Ideally, everyone should be enforcing themselves because we it's not like that right now. We have people that enforce, but essentially that's not the way we want it to be. And that's why it's interesting. In Isaiah, it talks about the future time that God will restore our judges and our counselors and it leaves out the word police. And, the, and Isaiah is talking about the times of the redemption when Mashiach will come. It says at that time, godliness will be revealed. And people will not need someone else to enforce, which is the ideal issue, the way, the way it should be right now. But that time, everybody will do the right thing because that's what they want to do. That's the right, that's the godly thing to do. This is one of the reasons... Uh, the Rebbe, and we're very careful, we're, we're trying, we've been working on it here in Camarillo, of implementing the idea of moment of silence, quiet moment in the public schools, where children get to think about something greater than themselves, it's an eye that sees, that someone's watching, that God is watching them, or something deeper, so that when it comes to not taking someone else's toy, when it comes to doing the right thing when no one else is looking, because God is looking, then we will not need to have enforcement from outside and we will all live at peace with each other. May we have that day very soon with the coming of Mashiach now. Have a wonderful, wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbat.